But what's going on when we think about LLMs, large language models? Because large language models, they're already pre-trained and they're not trained based on causal representation learning. But the question is, could we use them in proper way to tackle some of the causal tasks and come up with causal relationships? This is another great paper in this topic. I definitely suggest you to go through it. It is causal reasoning and large language models opening a new frontier for causality. And in the paper, and also if you listen to the talks of the authors, one thing they emphasize is domain knowledge is a key prerequisite. And it is very important because what it means is the large language model should have already seen the information in public domain regarding those causal relationships to be successful in those tasks by default, by just seeing simple prompting. There are ways to improve LLMs and there are ways to provide the feedback to LLMs, for example, through reinforcement learning. But if we want to use an, an off-the-shelf large language model like GPT-4 and then try to provide some proper prompting and then ask that model to tackle some of the causal tasks and come up with causal relationship, the domain knowledge should be there. This is a simple example of the prompting they use in the paper. As you can see, the prompts are not complicated at all, but it is very smart. Sometimes, maybe if you just ask ChatGPT to tell you something, we provide it in a very high level manner, and then we go through some uh, iterative process, and then we have chain of thought there to eventually get to the answer that we want. But here, what they did was instead of telling the model to say we have these 10 variables tell us about all the causal relationships between them. They asked which cause and effect relationship is more likely. So changing A causes a change in B or changing B causes a change in A. Very simple, it's not complicated at all, but it helps the model to figure out, first of all, to narrow down the space, what exactly it should look for. Second, to provide some direction regarding the information that it needs to retrieve and generate for us. In this case, because we care about causality, directionality matters. Then if we have directionality from A to B, meaning changing A causes changing B, or B to A, meaning changing B causes a change in A. And we, we can go for two prompts, pair variable, pair strategy as well, but single prompt actually gave them uh, the best performance in different benchmarking that they did. These are the benchmarks that are already available out there for causal relationships to identify the causal relationships and then benchmark the methodologies for those causal relationships. And what they figured out was at the time, GPT-4 with single prompt could, could come up with 96% accuracy for known pairwise causal relationship. This table is based on benchmarking for neuropathic pain diagnosis graph. There are two lessons here though. One is not every single large language model works. And by work, I mean not every one of them get to very high performance. Even as you can see, going from GPT-4 to 3.5 with the same single prompting reduce the performance by around 11%. But there is another important lesson, which goes back to what could we expect from AI agents and plan to bring AI agents for them, which is the caution here. It is not something that they made any mistake in the paper. They actually emphasized it in the paper that this is the way to think about these results. They mentioned and they emphasized that this way of using the large language models replace the experts for graph generation, meaning experts based on public domain knowledge could generate these causal graphs, but LLM could generate the same type of causal relationship based on the domain knowledge that already existed and it already saw during the pre-training. But it doesn't uncover unknown relationship. This is important. And as machine learning developers and scientists or as people who want to use machine learning or AI agents in, ge in general, 
be careful with the planning when it is possible, when it is not possible, and it would be over expectation. And it doesn't tell us that AI agency is bad or limited or something. It's just a matter of how to plan to get to that success and goal. Like